Hello, in this video I will show you how to install or update apps using command line on Windows 11. For this we will use the winget command and you need to open either PowerShell or Terminal as administrator. And for example, if you want to install an application, you need to run winget search and then the application name. For example, let's put codes and search for Visual Studio. And now we can get to look into the repository and you'll see some uh, available options. So for example, if I want uh, Microsoft Visual Studio Code, I just copy the, the name and then run the following command. So we have winget install codes and paste the application name. And now it will try to install it. And also, for example, if you search for Let's see if I search on my local computer for WinZip. Okay, it's not installed. But if you go here and type WinZip, we'll see if it's available. Okay, so we have some of the options. And let's go with, with this one. So we have WinGet install and just type WinZip. Let's see. Okay, it seems like this is the core version. Let's try with uh, this one. You need to agree the terms and conditions. And you see the application has been installed. Now, if you want to update uh, the existing apps, let's clear the screen here. You need to see what you have currently installed. So you need to run winget list. And these are the applications that are installed on my computer. So for example, we have an update available for Google Chrome. So let's see if I open Chrome. And we have one zero four five five one. Okay, but this is updating automatically. Let's get another one. Uh, notepad. Okay.
Okay, so we have version 8.4.1 and it will, it will be updated to 8.4.4. So let's see, close it here. Then get the application name, copy it and run winget install. And paste the application name. Okay, no package installed, found. Let's get the ID then. If it's not working by uh, name, we can get the ID. Okay, now if we open again Notepad++, we should have the 8.4.4 version, All right? And this is how you install or update applications with the command line. That's all for today, thanks for watching. And before you go, don't forget to hit the like button and if you want me to create videos about specific topics, just leave a comment.